So guys, let's start this tutorial. In this video, I will show how to send POST request. First of all, let me explain a difference between GET request and POST request. Using GET request, you can get some data. In this case, you can pass some parameters. For example, in this case, we are passing one parameter 1. This means that we want to get user information with ID 1. If you want to send requests with more data, like structured information in JSON format, you should use POST request. In this example, we are sending user information with ID 100 and name Gairat Rahimov. JSON placeholder API is returning what we sent as response. Now I will show how to send same request using retrofit library and we will show response in Android monitor. Let's open Android Studio here in Java interface API. Let's create new method which posts uh, user information to server. We created method which posts user information to server. Here we are using post annotation which means that we are going to send post request. Here we are showing uh, our endpoint. As a result we will get response body. Using body annotation we will send our JSON data in request body. Now let's open main activity. Here we create new string variable JSON. We will copy this JSON data and put it here. Next step is to create request body uh, in which we send our JSON data. Request body is ready. Let's call method post user and run this asynchronously using NQ method. We will show response in Android monitor. Now everything is ready. Let's run this code and see the result. As a result, we are showing response in Android monitor. This video is part of Retrofit course. In description below, you can find coupon code using which you can buy this course with discount price.